Exactly right. To quote my, my hero, Popeye, I am what I am, <laughs> okay? I said it and Gandhi said it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the times comedian and former late night host Conan O'Brien took any hilarious moment and dialed up the pandemonium to a million. <laughs> Number 10, Rolling with Tom Cruise, Conan. Tom Cruise's talk show appearances often promise adrenaline-fueled adventures. However, Conan has another idea, and it's truly groundbreaking. Listen to this. Yeah. We just drive. <laughs> we just drive. <laughs> That's just a mind blower, right? He meets Cruise in London, and they just drive around like any of us might with a friend. From the small talk to shushing the passenger at a particularly tricky rotary. What makes this bit so iconic is that there's nothing in it. But Conan's commitment to the joke makes it that much funnier. Seriously, how long have we been driving? We've been driving about three and a half hours. So we are at the halfway point. Some comedians take their guests for coffee. Others have car-wide sing-alongs, but Conan? Well, he traps A-list celebs in cars and just drives around aimlessly. Unless I hit that button, that door does not unlock. Which button is it? That's over here, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, sunroof is also locked. It's a long segment, yet it never loses steam, thanks to Conan. Number nine, Conan takes your Chinese food order, Conan. If you ever call your favorite takeout joint and hear Conan O'Brien's voice on the other end, you're probably never getting your food. You have been warned. What's your name? I'm Conan O'Brien. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Is this a delivery? I gotta go, I got a delivery. I'm gonna hang up on you and your order's not being placed. His energy with the kitchen staff is absolutely hysterical, but customer interactions really ramp up the commotion. There's the woman who rejects her delivery because she seemingly doesn't recognize him. He finds another taker who accidentally spills coffee on him as thanks. Then there's the kind window woman who distracts him from eating someone else's order. What are you guys doing here? I was delivering food, but I met you and everything changed. <laughs> Would you like some Chinese food? No, I'm all set. I'm drinking mate. It's like an Argentine green tea, you want some? He also swaps a delivery with Thai food after handing out its original contents to strangers on the street. If you're hungry for more, there's also the time he unleashed chaos at a Taco Bell. So I'm sorry, you said this is a, a DNA strand <laughs> that you guys deep fried and then shot out of a cinnamon cannon, is that right? <laughs> Whose like DNA am I eating right now? Number eight, Conan versus Jordan Schlansky, Conan. Working behind the scenes on Conan must have been quite the experience, especially for Jordan Schlansky. It's an expensive machine. Well, I suppose that's relative. There are espresso machines that cost $5,000. Why didn't you go for one of those? I didn't want to spend your money needlessly. <laughs> As one of the show's associate producers, Schlansky often found himself in the spotlight of Conan's playful antics, and we love to see it. When Schlansky rolls in late for work, Conan does what any good boss would, sit in his office and wait for him. While he waits, he gives the audience a tour of the area. Look at this. He's got a giant thing of Clorox wipes. Now, does this look like the office of someone who's afraid of germs? He'd also make Schlansky clean up the place in another equally hysterical segment. Do you think you want to be dirty? Not in the way you're referring to. What do you think I'm at? My office. What? You heard me. Anyway, the duo's wildly entertaining dynamic ensures that their shenanigans never fail to leave us in stitches, no matter where they take place. Number 7. Trying his hand at historical reenactments, Conan. Conan's stint with a Civil War reenactment group is comedy gold, as he struggles to part with modern comforts. So you just criticized me for using lip balm and, and uh, your little grapesy yeah. stuff for your hands. And you're dressed like a pirate who's about to go and, clubbing, uh, so. <laughs> Still, that doesn't mean he doesn't fully throw himself into the occasion. His hilarious attempts to fully embrace the old-timey setting have everyone in stitches, including his fellow reenactors. Watching him get into character as Jedediah Longtree is also pure comedic genius. Yeah, I've been in a lot of battles, Chickamauga, Okefenokee, Sarsaparilla Creek, the Battle of Olive Garden, that been in the mall. The guy has clearly been through a lot, 
and the actual battle hasn't even begun. Yet Conan proves he's just as effective on the battlefield as he is anywhere else. Still, Jedediah has big plans for when this conflict ends, and you know what? We'd be tuning in for sure. When this is over, I'm gonna head out west. I'm gonna get a talk show. Talk show? Yeah. What are you I talking talk to about? actors, and then I tell jokes about what's going on in the news. Number six, escaping the escape room, Conan. Nothing can put a friendship to the test quite like navigating an escape room. Help me as I figure out which of those gangsters goons is behind the jewel thefts. That's the first thing we have to do. You're wasting time. I've read this thing three times already. We've already lost five minutes. It's 20% of our time. However, Conan isn't just there with a friend. He's there with Jordan Schlansky. And well, we already know how their dynamic works when their exit isn't sealed off. While Conan won't break any escape records, he's a champ at giving up and getting sidetracked. Is there a way to order in food? You can use the phone over there. That's right, I got my partner working on the case. He's solving the clues. While Dolly and I are having a real sweet time together. Detective work isn't his strong suit, and he actually does very little to help. But his bumbling adds plenty of laughs. If you ever find yourself stuck in an escape room with Conan, you'll probably want someone else to help you crack the clues while he cracks you up from the corner. You don't tell me how to run my detective agency! You're falling apart at the seams. I'm not falling apart! I'm the only one here that really knows what he's doing! Maintain your focus. Airplane. Number five, Conan steps up to vintage baseball, late night with Conan O'Brien. We've already seen how Conan fares in old-timey environments. This time, he goes back to 1864 to check out an authentic baseball scene. Well, authentic-ish. We learn that farmers are super into the sport, and Conan learns some 1864 baseball lingo. First of all, a pitcher is called a hurler. Fans are cranks, rooters, birds, and bugs. That's correct. We also meet some of the team's biggest fans, like this woman who, despite Conan's best efforts, never breaks character. She even manages to break him. Oh, there you go, he's a tailor. He makes clothes for the farmer. And what about you? He's What's a farmer. Farmer? And your father? My father's past. <laughs> Honestly, her commitment to the role creates the most hilarious back and forth. Of course, Things reach a new level of unhingedness when Conan fully embraces the times and joins the game. We just hope the real 1864 team had someone like Conan to pump them up before a match. Then take both hands and give you a massage just to loosen you up! Now, let's get back out there and show that other team why our life expectancy is only 39 years! Number 4. Playing detective to find a mug. Conan. Some of the funniest and most chaotic moments take place backstage at Conan HQ. Watching him hang out with the interns is a riot. This guy was blown away that you know okay. Conan. No, no, and you were like, he's very tall and he has a long stride. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, if we had our annual reviews with him, we'd probably look forward to them. And tell us you wouldn't get all Conan on your colleagues if you found out they were bogarting free food. I was watching we had a closed circuit cameras watching. You came in the room and you went right for the cake. <laughs> Other people kind of walked around shy. You went right for the cake and cut into it. Still, perhaps nothing is funnier than his commitment to helping his assistant Sona track down her missing mug. Did you take it? I did not. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. You took the mug. Did not take the mug. Took the mug. Why would I take the mug? Why did you take the mug? Did not do it. Okay, tell me you did it and I won't fire you. I didn't do it. Okay. All right, so you're gonna stick to your story. While conducting his investigation, he ends up learning a lot about the people who work for him. Eventually, he tracks down the missing item, but there's an unexpected plot twist. This is incredible, so you're clearly innocent. This isn't your fault. Yeah, an intern yeah. brought it to you. Correct. And now it's my job to see that an unpaid intern is fired. <laughs> is Sona grateful for the returned mug? Number three, becoming a driver instructor alongside Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. Conan. How many people can say their bosses taught them how to drive? Fewer can probably say they were instructed by Conan, Ice Cube, and Kevin Hart. It's a recipe for chaos as the latter two bring profanity-fueled road advice that would be better left at the curb. Hey, why you have a hand That's ridiculous! Mold? Here's a penny. Okay. There you go. Is this person cutting you off? Yeah, roll that window and throw a penny out the window. What's going on? Roll the window. Throw a penny! Throw a penny! Go! You just dropped it! 
For instance, we don't imagine many driving lessons include stopping off for <clears throat> recreational supplies, although it makes Hart's chat with the cop that much funnier. What I learned is that Jesus once walked on water. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this guy's ending. By the end, wrapping up at Popeye seems like the only logical conclusion. This isn't the only time the trio gets in a car together. And honestly, the fact that it didn't blow up like other famous car segments is a comedic injustice. Oh, wait, wait a minute, where's the brown paper bag? Man, Con, you don't just get it out of brown Where's the brown paper bag? I didn't know it. A brown paper bag. You didn't say okay, drink this. You didn't say anything about a brown paper bag. Number two, Conan Kering the Heat, Hot Ones. Apparently, O'Brien was a hot commodity among Hot Ones fans, and he was determined to bring the heat. It's got to build. It's starting to build right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's building. Yeah. And it's kind of not going to stop. No, it's not going to stop. that's OK. <laughs> Indeed. The show has seen its fair share of wild reactions, but O'Brien's take is arguably the Matasano's hot sauce of the entire series. At first, he questions if his Irish taste buds can handle it. I don't think there's a wing here that I can't eat like it's ice cream. I, I seriously, I don't think there's a wing on this table that I cannot devour like it's cool whipped cream. <laughs> Yet he confidently powers through, essentially turning every moment into the Conan show. However, things truly go off the rails when the heat starts to get to him. I don't have a lot of regrets in my career. <laughs> Pouring this onto the wing. <laughs> right. And then licking it off. And in retrospect, <laughs> I bet you it's good footage, no, yeah, it's good, but, it's good TV. Um, I'm starting to feel some sensation. From then on, everything descends into anarchy. It definitely brings a whole new meaning to masking your pain with humor. It's a meme-worthy level of unhinged, and we are very here for it. I'm not he didn't questioning come up that. with one I'm way not that had that. any effect on Conan, because he's here to stay. Oh, woo! Oh, woo! Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. A trip to the races. Conan, he is not here to horse around. Okay, maybe just a little. Here we go, and it's pancakes on the griddle as the horses are off. <laughs> Looking for a career change, Conan. If Conan did commercials, we'd probably be broke. Is it 21 shrimp or 21 shrimps? Yeah. Uh, I gotta know, because there's this great tasting uh, dinner deal going on right now at the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> Conan joins staff to watch Magic Mike XXL. Conan, we'd watch it with this commentary on every single time. I am more woman than I've ever been before, and I'm ready to be taken on the ride of my life. Convincing Julia Louis-Dreyfus to steal Tina Fey's Emmy. Late night with Conan O'Brien. He's a true master of chaos. But listen, Conan, you think yeah. this is a good idea? Yeah, of course it's a good idea. She has five. You have two. OK. The biggest problem in this country right now is there's a gap between the have-nots and the haves. Boy, is that a you good point. Have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh. Wonder Woman Boot Camp. Conan, we don't think Gal Gadot has to worry about her job. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Blowing the Budget – The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien in 2009, Conan succeeded Jay Leno as host of The Tonight Show. But in a surprising turn, NBC reinstated Leno the next year. It was a PR nightmare from start to finish. You know, I know you meant well, but I had The Tonight Show for 10 minutes and you just ate into my time. <laughs> we'll give you time. This is all the time I have. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it off! Uh Still, Conan was determined to leave his mark, and it would cost NBC a lot. I do it and they have to pay for it. So, for the rest of the week, we're gonna introduce new comedy bits that aren't so much funny as they are crazy expensive. With nothing to lose, he decided to go all out and blow the budget. Until this moment, we didn't even know we needed to see a Bugatti dressed as a mouse with the Rolling Stones blaring in the background. Is this appropriate music for a car that looks like a mouse? No! Does it add anything at all to this comedy bit? No, it doesn't! Is it crazy expensive to play on the air? The whole stunt reportedly cost $1.5 million. 
But can you really put a price on this level of wild entertainment? It is pure, unadulterated hilarity, and we are here for every penny spent. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Total price tag for this comedy bit, $1.5 million. What's your favorite chaotic Conan moment? Let us know in the comments. My question to you is, is there a point when these get warm? Just a little bit warm. Anything at all. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.